Here we are, the Mavic Mini, DJI Mavic Mini, the original Mini 1. Then there's the Mini 2, the Mini SE, and now the Mini 3 Pro. Um, yeah, uh, the Mini, Mavic Mini, the Mini SE, and the Mini 2 all have the exact same camera. The Mini, Mavic Mini, and the Mini SE have the same camera, the same controller, but the Mini SE has the Mini 2 body and motors. So it's a little bit better. And the Mini 2, they unlocked it and gave you 4K video. And they gave you the newer controller, which has better distance. With the Mavic Mini, I can probably get a kilometer on a good day, but uh, normally about 500 meters, which is fine around here. I'm just astounded at the last two batteries at how stable and how comfortable it is to fly. Let's get it up in the air and we've got 2.7K. Now the Mavic Mini is the basic. It's a basic travel drone. Get up, do your thing. You do have pro mode where you can alter the EV values. And as you see here, I have EV at plus. So let's go to EV at, everything's on auto. Okay, and if I go to minus one, it gets darker and darker and darker. Okay, and we can go up to there, lighter and lighter. And that's three, and that's zero. So we're just gonna go everything auto. Let's get it up in the air, press and hold. I'm sorry, press and hold, boom, boom. there we go. Take off. And I'm watching it go up. The home point so the has been updated. Mark. Please check it on the map. Roughly. And it's just solid. It's just solid. So what would this be if you took the now new Hubson Mini, which is the Xeno Mini Pro camera on a Xeno Mini SE, what would it be if you put the flight controller of a DJI into a Hubson Mini? It would be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. The downside to the Mavic Mini is, for some, it only does 2.7K, but 2.7K is way better than a lot of other 4Ks. And negative is it doesn't have many flight modes you know it's got film mode you know so let's go into film mode sport c cinema mode okay which is slow and if you want some nice full stick forward doesn't go very fast but backwards very slow okay rotating very slow it good for cinematic stuff. Okay, let's start that video. I like it, it's just a one click thing. So let's just go around the garden here for a bit. Okay. back there we go nice and slow that's what that does okay there's no tripod mode or anything like that it's just nice and slow and cinematic and Away we go, beautiful. Okay, stop that video. And we'll go up. And we'll put it into P mode. P mode. A little faster forward. And a little faster backwards. And the turning is a little faster. 
Okay, now we're gonna go into sport mode. Sport mode. Yeah, a lot faster. Yeah, you need quite a bit of room there. Almost went into the garage. Let's go back to P mode. Okay, P mode. You can do Addy mode, but you have to block off the sensors on the bottom. I don't want to do that. So we're going to go up, and everything is in auto. So let's go up and see where what it looks like around for a bit. Now we're going to go up a fair distance and there's going to be a warning come up, but we're below 250 grams. So we are allowed to go a little higher. You have to be cautious, but you are allowed to do it. So we're up at 50. Okay. Let's get some height up there and see what some of the video looks like when we get up a couple of hundred meters. And we're going up and up and up. It doesn't go up too fast, but two meters per second. And there's a hundred. And we had 97% in the battery because I charged them a couple of days ago. And if you don't take them out right away, it will deplete. There we go. Let's go forward a bit so we can get the subdivision maybe we can look at the house okay if we hit this little button down here what do we got there we go that's better so it's looking at me okay let's go up maybe a little farther away and we'll go up to 200 meters We won't be up here too long. There we go, there's 200 meters. Okay, let's see if we can, there's that one lake over there. Okay, let's quickly turn around and we'll go out to the other lake. Not that one. And it's gonna be, whoop, where are we? We have a lake here. Yep, it's this lake. Haha, <laughs> the frying pan lake. Okay. Let's go over there. Okay, let's go forward. We're up a good 200 meters. Here we go. Let's see how far we can go out. Usually it's about 500, 550. And that'll be about it. Okay. We're not going too fast. Eight meters per second, that's the max. Battery's low, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something happened. Well, we'll have to try and find it, I guess. So, if we go back here, we go to profile, find my drone. Ooh, 
That's not good. Right about now, I'm having a deja vu moment from a couple of years ago when my Mavic Mini hit a tree and I had the, the gray screen of death and it took me a day and a half to find it. Well, uh, I could have lost this it. This time, it's right over water. So everything is going through my mind. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Well, hmm. and for all intents and purposes, I figured it's lost. I'm trying to find the shortest distance I can get, and I know the lake is only about a I might have to go foot and find and a half it deep there. So I'm hoping, and maybe I've got to get one of my other drones out to have a look. I'm trying to formulate a plan what I'm going to do. And then I suddenly hear it. Oh, it's coming home. How about that? It's not connected, but it came home. I started to sweat there for a minute. So it took me a while to figure it out. Um, yeah, the battery and the controller kind of died. Uh, there were two lights on the controller of the four, and I thought there was enough, and but comes uh, down. apparently not. Uh, and even when the craft did land, okay. and I tried to so reboot the controller, there was only enough for a couple of seconds of video, and then it would stop again. So, yes, uh, be very what careful happened? of how much power you have in your controller. It needs a substantial amount, probably more than 30%, to maintain a positive lock. And give you a good video feedback um, because uh, obviously there wasn't enough power to sustain any mm. video feed. So yeah, lesson mm. learned. The DJI Mavic Mini. Too bad you can't buy them anymore. You'll have to, you know, you'll have to be comfortable with the DJI Mini SE, which is only two ninety nine. Okay, which is a pretty good deal. And then you've got the uh, DJI Mini 2 at, what is it, 449 or something like that. And then now you've got the Mini 3 Pro, which for all intents and purposes is over a thousand bucks. No chance in whatever am I going to get the Mini 3 Pro. I'm sure though, I'm confident DJI is going to come out with a Mini 3 SE and probably come out at $300 less than what the Pro is going for now. Just a feeling I have. Anyway, stay tuned. Some new products coming down the pipe in a, a week or so, and uh, we'll see you then.